Highlights of Iran's biggest attack on Israel in response to an attack on its consulate in Damascus. The first reports of rocket and drone launches began to appear about an hour and a half before midnight Moscow time. The Iranian mission to the UN stated that the attack was a response to aggression against diplomatic targets, referring to Article 51 of the UN Charter on the Right to Self-Defense. According to the Israeli military, more than 200 missiles and drones were launched, including dozens of surface-to-surface -surface missiles. The IDF says most of these missiles were shot down outside the country. The American and British Army participated in repelling the attack. Drones and missiles were also shot down in the skies of neighboring countries, Jordan, Lebanon, and Syria. Countries in the region have announced the closure of airspace until morning. Aeroflot is rescheduling flights. Arriving at Israeli military facilities, including the Negev Desert, has been reported. Israeli media claim that 99% of launched rockets and drones have been intercepted. The IDF announced that there was minor damage to an Israeli military base. The Islamic Revolution Guards Corps called the attack a success and assured the people of Iran that they will stop until the end, protecting the interests of the country. Western countries condemned the Iranian attack. The UN Secretary General said that the world cannot afford another war and called for de-escalation. Saudi Arabia, one of the major players in the region, has also called for restraint. The Israeli media, referring to unnamed officials, report that a decisive response to the Iranian